Hello, welcome to the table. And we are going to go over skies or storm. I'm sorry, storm above the Reich. Skies above the Reich is right here. And this is a game you can see. I didn't even punch the pieces yet. Um, it's a game that is uh, disappointingly very similar to Skies Above the Reich. But since Skies Above the Reich was my game of the year and probably one of my favorite solitaire games of all time, I don't know how disappointed I really should be. I, it's, um, it's quite a conundrum because it's a, Skies Above the Reich is a fantastic game. Uh, I mean, it, there's so much about it. I, I just want to praise so why would I not want another game that does the same thing? Um, I honestly don't know <laughs> the answer to that question. But at the same time, you're like, you're, you know, maybe you're wanting something a little different, something new. Uh, it is different and new in terms of the bomber formation uh, boards are gonna be different. The FW-190s are gonna have uh, different skill sets. And I think the biggest thing about this is that you can combine both games and do one mega campaign with all the components together. And of course, that is um, uh, where I'm gonna probably do. Uh, now, what I'm trying to decide is, uh, do I wanna do a campaign of this just storm above the Reich, just to, you know, m measure it on its own merits versus, you know, trying to, m you know, meld it together with skies. I'm still determining that part. Also, um, it has been, two years since I played Skies Above the Reich. As much as I want to praise the game, I never got it back to the table. And um, I'm really disappointed in that. And the biggest disappointment is I don't remember the rules. So I am literally and truly watching my playthrough videos that I made two years ago and, um, and watching that to figure out the rules. And I'm basically teaching myself right now. And uh, first of all, I gotta say, uh, I did a pretty darn good job. Um, but the other part of it is uh, the first playthrough, uh, that's not the advanced rule set, I actually made a lot of mistakes, which I did do a decent job of putting in the comments and, and whatnot, but gosh darn it, this really does deserve a better playthrough without so many mistakes. The advanced rules playthrough was that. It, it was able to um, uh, not make the same mistakes or as many, and... Um, it was very clean, but of course it's the advanced rules. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, do I really want to do the advanced rules on my first playthrough in two years? You know, because the advanced rules was a bit harder. Uh, such first world problems to have, right? Um, so uh, here's the thing. I, I, as you can see, I still need to punch the pieces. Uh, I have been looking at the advanced rule book, which specifically covers vectoring, which is brand new. So if you're asking yourself, what's the difference between skies and storm? And you heard me just poo-poo that they're exactly the same. And they are. But there are, a f so I guess the word exactly is probably challengeable. There's a few differences. And the most major one is vectoring. So this whole section here, and there's a whole board over there to be used, is sort of like a pre-battle so before you even go into the situation manual and, you know, set up this board right here, before you even enter this board, the game board, you have like a little mini game that you do beforehand. And that mini game can give you cash and prizes or sorrow and misery. It's sort of like a, a mixed bag. Um, jury's still out on whether or not I even like this. Um, it seems like a kludgy add-on, if you ask me. Um, probably something that's just going to end up frustrating me uh but i think it does make the game more challenging for as a result so maybe it's worth doing who knows and then there's a whole bunch of optional rules and i read through all of these um mind you i read through all these uh realizing i need to read the basic rules to refresh myself on how to play this game but uh a lot of these are like either going to help you or hurt you or you know they're sort of in the middle like the Comets and, you know, those are just special planes. The Sturm 190 are like special planes you get. You can upgrade your FW 190s. You know, you can upgrade a certain number of them to Sturm 190s. And they have like this concept called armor. And they are automatically equipped with a cannon. So you don't have to purchase them with OP points. 
it's a it's a pretty cool like a lot of these are very cool the yb41s um, are similar to the yb40s on the uh, b17s except uh so basically uh you get hit one extra time because it's because it's like a little chit that you actually put into the damage pool and when you pull it out um then that bomber is equipped with a yb41 it's like you don't know that whenever you're starting the game but as you're engaging the bombers uh, you draw the right chit, and then all of a sudden that bomber gets upgraded, and everything around it, all the threat levels go up. Um, so, you know, there's stuff like that. The Staffo Erosion is a neat idea, but it's very punitive. And um, uh, I don't even remember the Elba stuff, the Sonder Commando Elba. Um, the point is, is there is a lot of variation, and I need to determine what am I going to do in this first playthrough? Am I going to do multiple playthroughs? You know, all that stuff. So, uh, I need some time to refresh myself on the rules. And basically, I'm watching my own videos. Um, I need to figure out, am I going to combine Skies and Storm? And feel free to put your comments in the, in the um, you know, in the video here. Uh, so what is the advantage of combining them? The uh, the thing is, is that you could get uh, B-17 maps on one mission, and then you can go into the Mediterranean and get, uh, what are those, B-25s, B-24s? I don't know exactly what they are, but you get those, you know, these maps, the new ones, in other missions. Obviously, uh, Storm Above the Reich doesn't start until 1943. Uh, Skies Above the Reich starts in 1942. So if you combine the two, you're going to start in 1942, and it's basically going to be Skies Above the Reich full-time. Uh, the other thing is, is that they do have a combined uh, roster. So uh, right here in the back, you can see it's a combined pilot roster where some of these pilots are um, FW-190. Uh, that would be these ones down here, because I remember I recognize Buttfargan. Uh, and then these pilots are going to be um, uh, the BF-110s or 109s or whatever we played. I think they're 109s. So um, you're going to have like a mixture of pilots. And then they are going to be assigned uh, to either northern Germany or to the Mediterranean or southern Germany, depending on what year it is. So uh, the pilots will have specific regions that they operate in. And as you flip from one zone to another and you move from one map to another uh, certain pilots won't be eligible because they're they're based in northern Germany you know to deal with the B-17s whereas other pilots are going to be based in you know the Mediterranean or southern Germany and um, uh, that's where it sort of um, that's where the combining of the two sort of ends now you can get um if you play the FW-190s, you can get like uh, BF-109s as a supplementary, I believe. And let's see here. There's the BF-110s. There's an MC-202. IAR-80. That MC-202 looks Italian. Probably is. And there's some more. It's just a different color. And, and then, of course, the ME-163s. Etc. So, so of course you're going to be playing as well. Those are Ju 88s. You're going to be playing. Your name pilots are going to be FW 190s. Now, if you're playing the Skies Above the Reich, if you recall, FW 190s were auxiliary planes you can get. Um, that they're still available. There, there's some rules about like when you can or can't add them. Um, but uh, but basically, uh, not much is different. Uh, Everything is pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing uh, else, well, I keep saying that and then I keep showing you what's different. Um, you can see here, this is the purchase chart with the FW-190s. Um, uh, there's a cable attachment, which I believe is new. I need to check the other one. I don't remember what used to be here. And I don't remember it being cable attachments. That's the part that I think is new. There was something else I think that was here. Um, but rockets and armor. And then, um, well, and actually, all the planes are right here. I didn't have to go through that list like I just did. And then if you, so when you're doing a combined mission, uh, like this is for uh, just Storm Above the Reich, you can see it starts in 43, and it uses uh, maps starting at number 5, 
six, seven, and eight, right? Whereas the uh, skies above the Reich is maps one, two, three, and four. So when you combine the two, you're gonna get, you know, uh, and I know when you combine them, it's in here somewhere, here it is. There's the Staffel assignment. So you start in 42 and the all of 42 is gonna be in Germany North, which um, you can see here, like the BF 109s that are in your squadron, you're gonna roll and on a one to 10, you're gonna be assigned to Germany North. They're all assigned to Germany North in the beginning. And so you could see, um, this is the, these are the maps. So when you roll for your maps, you can get one to six, uh, or seven and then eight to 10, you know, uh, I'm sorry, whatever die rolls you get, right? If you roll a one to a six, you're gonna get map one. If you roll an eight to a 10, you're gonna get map five. So uh, map five is a new map, by the way. So even though we're in 1942, these are the B-17 maps, and it is possible we could get one of the new ones. So, so they did like mix it up a little bit where you could see one of the new maps, even though we're in 1942. But as you can see, when you start getting into splits here, where these are the B-17 maps typically, and then these are typically the, I need to look it up, B-24, B-25, um, you can see that your, your die rolls is gonna determine, you know, which zone your pilots are in. So even if you're playing just the BF 109s, you know, you could still get split up. So anyways, I, I don't wanna, you know, spend too much time on it, but it talks about, you know, when you are in Germany North, your mission setup table and operations menu comes from the skies, south and Mediterranean comes from storm. So there's gonna be some splits and you can see this is the situation manual for storm. And so I would have to also have the situation manual for skies and you're gonna be combining a lot of the components. Uh, the one thing that's super cool is the, the damage chits and all that stuff. You can basically combine them and just have double the chits and there's no harm. It's still the same probability and statistics. It's just, you have double the chits now. And then the cards can be combined as well because they are identical except for the continuing cards. So the these continuing fire cards are the only thing that's different. And you do have one deck you need for the FW-190s and a separate deck for the BF-109. So um, they do say on the top, Storm Above the Reich, so you can keep it separate. But these continuing fire cards are gonna be different. And I think they're a little more punishing for the FW-190s, if I recall. So um, I know I'm getting into some of the weeds here, but uh, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm very willing to, to try to combine these two. In fact, it's probably the largest thing on my mind as I'm reading all this stuff. So um, just let me know your thoughts. If you truly want to see Storm all by itself, I, I, I know I pointed out a few of the variances and differences, but I'm trying really hard to find them. It's, it's really, truly the identical game. I mean, even the damage chits and everything are the same. Like when they say that you combine them, you literally combine everything and they're identical. And, and it, it, in fact, it says you don't have to combine them. You could just put one set back in the box. Um, so anyways, I just uh, wanted to throw that out there. I have no criticism of any of that stuff, by the way. It, it's just, uh, um, you know, do you want more of the same or did you want something different? I, I'm being hopeful that the uh, the Skies Above Britain game, which is, you know, the Battle of Britain, is going to be different. And I, you know, I keep being told that, that you know, there was this, there's this story of somebody saying that it can't be done, like this system just wouldn't work above Britain. And then somebody came up with a genius idea and it's like the designer loved it. And so now they're going to do this, the thing above Britain. I just hope it's a different game. Um, I mean, the whole concept of, of this and the way you manipulate the map is phenomenal. Um, I just, you know, there needs to be a little bit more. Um, the one thing I, I will say is, uh, I, and this is what I meant to point out, is that in um, Skies Above the Reich, you have timing, aim, and luck, right? Those are the skills you can get if you were an expert. Now in Storm, it's breakaway, flyer, and quick. Break Anywhere, Flyer, Quick, and Wily. There's a Wily skill as well. Um, also, the green penalties are different. So these three green penalties were from Storm, and or yeah, Skies, 
and these three are from Storm. So Storm of the Rake did change the green penalties and the expert skills. Uh, you remember how I loved Luck so much when I played? Uh, Luck isn't even available if you're playing Storm above the Rake. But if you merge the two, then you can use all of them. And that's what this is. This is a combined sheet with everything together. <coughs> okay, so like I said, I gotta punch some stuff. I gotta refresh myself on the rules. And it is summertime here. And uh, summertime here in Minnesota. And summertimes in Minnesota don't last very long. So I am out and about. I'm trying to be more active. I'm trying to be that healthy person that people tell me I need to be and um, get out and about. I, as you saw from some of my videos, I got a motorcycle. I'm also doing some recordings for. Um, I'm not always home. I'm not always at the table like I used to be. And when I am, it's multiplayer. I have had very few chances to sit down alone and just play some solitaire. And to be quite honest, it's, it's an overall good thing. Um, but I do love me some Skies Above the Reich and Storm Above the Reich, even though it's disappointingly identical, I'm still going to love it. <laughs> I really am. I, you know, I, I'm both disappointed and happy at the same time. So really looking forward to it. Just arrived today. I'm one of the late people to get it. And um, I will definitely be jumping in and we will definitely see this hit the table. I still have Fire in the Lake. It's literally set up underneath this, this table, inside of my bathtub here of this table. So if I take this top off, Fire in the Lake is set up right underneath with the trung bot. Um, it is definitely something I want to do. It's just that uh, those coin games, you, there's a lot of rules. And even though I get rules wrong from time to time, or even a lot of the time, I still don't like getting rules wrong. And I, I stress out over coin games. And so... I need to just have some time to sit down and really I need another winter that I need a winter time where I'm just sitting here in front of my fireplace playing board games. Uh, that's a fire. That's when coin games become attractive. Like and during the summer when I'm trying to do quicker games, um, coins not quite as attractive. So I have this. I still have dwellings of Eldervale, which I haven't even unboxed. Um, there's still a lot of games. Also, Flying Squadron 303 is on its way. Uh, Company of Heroes is on its way. Um, I have actually have quite a few Kickstarters that are going to be arriving, and um, I do not have the time to keep up with it all. But uh, uh, for now, this is the priority. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.